Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and also thank you so much to all the new subscribers and the people who've left me comments on my videos. I really appreciate it a lot and I just wanted to say thank you. Um, so today we're going to do another little paint with me and in this one we're going to be painting some orange roses by the beach and this is from a photo that I took. I recently went on a trip down to Southern California and was walking along the beach and I just saw these beautiful orange roses that were by the water and um, it was kind of like in the late afternoon so the sun was low in the sky and it was just illuminating them in this gorgeous way and I was immediately like just enamored with these roses so um, so I took a picture of them and oh yeah and I really liked how um, they were orange roses, which I feel like I don't see very often. Um, so they had these vib this vibrant orange color, and then there was the beach in the background and the blue sky behind them. Um, so I thought that the contrast of the beach and the blue sky against the orange roses was also a really nice touch, especially because the darkest part of the beach, the darkest part of the water, as you can see, is kind of intersecting the topmost rows in the painting so it really kind of creates a nice compositional effect so um, yeah so I started painting these roses and as you can tell at this point I just blocked in a lot of the major colors and one thing about flowers is I haven't painted that many flowers and I find them to be actually really hard to paint um, flowers I always kind of thought of them as, oh, flowers, they're just kind of this this boring subject. It's so traditional. It's, um, I don't know, I felt like I saw so many painters doing flowers that I really underestimated them. And I thought, oh, they're easy. They're boring. I can do other things. I'll do, you know, figures or something like that. Um, but then recently I started trying to paint flowers myself. And I realized that they're actually really, really hard and they're really interesting to paint too because you have, like, they have this feeling of solidity. Um, like, it feels, they feel like this large solid shape, but then they're composed of these delicate petals, these delicate semi transparent layers that that kind of counteract that. So you have this large shape, but it's also very delicate. And so it's very hard for me to wrap my mind around how you can have both of those things and then how to depict both of those things in an image. Um, so when I'm painting flowers, I think it's, I really am just trying to not think of it as a flower, not think of it as this complex layering of petals, but, um, but really thinking of it just as an abstract shape or a you know a collection of abstract shapes that I'm trying to depict um, with my brush and so so I'm doing a lot of squinting I'm doing a lot of um, simplifying with my eyes just to try to get at what what are the major shapes here and um, thinking about it more as this abstract thing and not as the flower itself and I found that that's that seems to be the only way that I can try to handle flowers um, and make something that actually looks like a flower. And it's also a good skill to have for painting anything, I think, because a lot of times when we're painting, um, a lot of the work is just trying to get past what we expect to see and painting what we actually see. Um, and that's something that I continually struggle with. Um, especially for subjects that are so interesting like flowers or faces or um, really compelling things like that. And overall I think it worked out pretty well for this painting. Um, here I'm just putting in some of the final highlights on the roses to just give them a bit more volume and more substance. Um, and then I add a few more highlights also to the leaves and um, and also to the ocean in the background to just adjusting the brightness a little bit throughout the painting. Um, finally, I go in and add some smaller details with a liner brush. Um, I don't know if this was totally necessary, but I felt like I wanted to get some a few crisp lines on the very edges to try to emphasize the 
how thin the petals were. Like I wanted to make the petals feel very delicate. Um, so yeah, so that's basically all for today. Here's the final version of the painting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel. Um, I'd love to hear what you think. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.